medical issues can interfere with your studies. Go to the nurse and get back to work. Felicity Bellbottom speaking for you, the students, in every sense, on Campus Radio. Up next, we'll be talking about power napping, comforting dream or confusing nightmare. Find out after this. Assistant to the library. Thank you. Issues can be remedied by talking to a qualified librarian. Lots of 
students struggle to get enough sleep. That's why Campus Radio's very own Maggie Watmore has been trying out the latest techniques to fit some much needed rest into a busy schedule. That's right, I've been trying out power napping. The day's craze sweeping through campus like that fungus in the showers. For those of you that don't know, power napping, or turbo kipping, is a practice that allows you to sleep on the spot, grabbing some valuable rest time between classes. I think I almost did it for a moment, but then I realized I was 45 minutes late for a lecture. <laughs> but no, yeah, I actually feel really well rested. socially optional. Eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Now, the story of an arts college with no paint in sight. Hugh. Yes, the students at Fitzpocket Academy were supposed to be taking a class in oil painting this year, but their funding allocation has shifted, and so too has the earth beneath the feet of their expectations. I was lucky enough to speak to one student. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. I'll just take the class next year. A brave face on an even braver student. This is just another story of student funding crushing the hopes and indeed dreams of some fine art students. All they wanted was some paint. But for now, the funding has dried up and with it, the oil paint well. Intruders on campus, oh no.
ask questions. I believe that smell is you. I'm Jumbo McNally, and at Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. department has published fresh horoscopes. Another bad one for me. Who 
Pointe County Professor Hercules Cheesewater recently came under fire after publishing work they found on the bus. The professor has now responded to the allegations, saying, Inspiration can come from the strangest of places. So true. In fact, I find all my coursework on public transport, proofread and ready to hand in. Announcement. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. Intruders on campus, oh no. provides health care for its students. Well, it should. in the student union.
end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Your results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Cheers, cheers. On Two Point Radio. Salutations and congratulations on your exquisite taste. You are tuning in for the peak of sophistication on our county's airwaves. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. But of course, you already knew that.
believe that smell is you. It's time for Sir Nigel Reviews. And thanks to the enlightening intervention of our wonderful producers, you, the audience, have chosen the object of our desires this week. The public's collective wisdom has entrusted me with hog logs. I'm told a popular choice of breakfast cereal. Let's get this over with, shall we? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It almost tastes like pork scratchings. Ooh. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. opened a new building. Good for us.
students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Apologies for the abrupt end to our last segment. I've had a quick rinse and can commence with our review. The border of sweet and savory is, for some perverse reason, the fashion in fine dining circles. So I suppose it only makes sense that this would trickle down in some form to the food of the layperson. Congratulations to you, the common people, for joining in on this most foul of fads. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Pastoral issues can be remedied by talking to a qualified librarian. Hey guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! <laughs> hey, I'm climbing on a statue! <gasps> Everybody get in the shed! I can't revise anymore, my knees hurt! <laughs> Roderick Cushion is Varsity Freshman in Immature Students. Janitor to install upgrade, please.
Stay grounded. No unscheduled launching. Nigel Bickleworth, your friend over the frequencies. I tried to get this next song pulled from the station, but alas, what can one do? Well, I can play it with the disclaimer that you shouldn't enjoy it, and you won't enjoy it. You are some musical tripe, only on Two Point Radio. are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus.
Please welcome visiting Space Knights before booing them. It's time to spill the tea with Nigel B. Nigel B? Who wrote that? Who wrote it? Have them fired, all right? Today I'm hearing that a production system at a certain radio station is getting the sack. Scandalous, I know, but you didn't hear it from me. It may come as a shock, but in my formative years, I went through a gothic phase. I know, I know, it's hard to imagine, but to a young and impressionable Bickleworth, there was nothing more exciting than a flying buttress. And the gargoyles, so pensive, so lugubrious, so stony. Of course, I'd come to my senses and learn to love the provocative opulence and theatricism of the Baroque. We live and we learn.
please welcome visiting Space Knights before booing them. Call me Auntie Bickleworth because it's time for Agony Answers. Today's anguish comes from Patronized in Pebbly. My elder sister talks down to me. It's like we're still kids. How can I get her to take me seriously? Oh no, how dreadful. What a very serious and adult problem you have. My advice, grow up. And of course, tune in again next time. Ta-da!
Space Knights are asked to fight nicely. Thank you. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Uh, I'm Felicity Bellbottoms, and you may be listening to Campus Radio. Unfortunately, our broadcasting signal has taken a hit due to some of our equipment being prematurely recycled. One of our reporters is in a skip, looking for the parts as we speak. So, consider that colourful visual, and we'll be right back. Eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Students are reminded to find themselves. 